Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at our new extension, Urban Paint from Daniel Tall. Urban Paint is... it's the extension that I love. It is the kind of extension that I love. What it does is it helps you to model lots of stuff with very few clicks. So, based on a couple of clicks, you can turn a single line into a streetscape and with all the parts, uh, the, the lanes, the, the lines on the lanes, the curbs, the building, sidewalk, parking, all of it, it will recreate everything. And uh, we're gonna see how that works right now. All right, so here's the extension warehouse window. I'll link to this down in the, in the description as well, so you can click on that and just go right there. But if you go to extension warehouse, search for urban paint, you'll find it and you can uh, uh, grab a copy of it. It is absolutely amazing. If this is the sort of thing you do, if you do any sort of urban work, um, you probably have groups or something of the same, the same street that you just placed in over and over again, but this is gonna make your job much easier. So let's, let's check out how it works. Um, all right, so we're gonna come in here. I'm gonna start with an edge. I'm just gonna draw a line, and I'm just gonna say it's like uh, a 1,000 feet. How many zeros in a 1,000? That's right. All right. And then I'm going to select that thousand foot edge, go to extensions, go to urban paint, and I'm going to build a street profile. So all of this is built on profiles. So if you have similar street values you want to see over and over again, you can actually create these profiles once and then automatically apply them. There's a lot of flexibility in here. It's really cool. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's do this. Let's build a new street profile. And this is when I say I love how urban paint works. This is what I'm talking about right here it just prompts me do we want a symmetrical or asymmetrical street let's say we want it symmetrical it's be the same on both sides next number of lanes two is gonna be one lane on either side sure that sounds good next <laughs> I, I like it striping yeah let's let's put a double solid double yellow line in the middle next what else we got parking sure yeah let's put parking in there um, do we want just a lane or do we want striping? Let's put striping in parallel. I like stalls. I like, this is what we have in our town and I like visual aids. So this works good for me. Let's keep that on, but I could put in head in or diagonal spots too, but let's just keep it there. Next, we keep working down here. Do I want to include a bike lane? Well, why not? I mean, <laughs> it's happening automatically. Let's get everything we can out of this thing. Uh, let's put striping. Uh, and let's put paint in there too. Let's let's make that identifiable. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now I know some of the thoughts are coming up already. Well, we don't do green paint. We do yellow paint. We do blue paint. We do whatever. Remember what this is doing is it's generating geometry in SketchUp. So even if if what happens here in in Urban Paint gets you ninety percent of the way there, you can always come back and edit whatever you want to once you get out into SketchUp. All right, so include curbs, yes. Um, just a six inch curb, that sounds good. I'm going through some of this kind of fast because, well, because I'm trusting that you would be able to read and do the same thing that I am and I have faith in you. I'm not gonna include a median because the median would show up in the middle, but I don't wanna do that. I, wanna, I want my stripes, I like my stripes there. So I'm not gonna turn on everything. Um, sure, let's throw a walk in there, uh, eight feet wide, that's great. Um, yeah, let's put some landscaping in. Sure, why not? Uh, we have options. What do we want to put in there? Yeah, let's put the trees. Um, uh, pedestrian lights. Sure, we'll do that. Um, I'm not going to put everything in. Let's keep moving. Uh, buildings. Yes, I do want to include buildings. So in buildings, I have a setback. How far back do I want them? How close do I want them? I, I want to get them snug. Let's get them, let's let's cozy up here. Let's go like uh, let's go 10 foot instead of 15 foot. And the mass, maximum distance, I, you know, I want to keep this fairly uniform. So let's say 10 foot max and min. The other things I, as I come down here now, it's going to give me a bunch of default buildings that I can use. So you see the first ones here, I have some folders with uh, single story family homes. And then uh, I have some options for one, two, three, four, five, six story uh, massings, building massings. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say, I want nothing higher than five or six stories. So I'm gonna turn the rest of these off. You saw there was an option up here too to import. So if I wanted to import individual files of buildings or folders, I could pull those in and use those instead. But I'm gonna use the default right here. Uh, and let's, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's say build that profile and then apply it. All right, and there we go. 
So what that gave me was all the information I wanted. So here's here's my my street with my WL line. Here's my bike lane. Here's my parking lanes. Here's my sidewalk. All my stuff came in, uh, including my models, all my buildings. Uh, like I said, if this isn't exactly what you want, it's SketchUp. I can go in and edit and change any of this as I go. And some of the cool stuff, another, so another thing I can do is really cool is I could build an intersection. So I'm gonna draw another edge. I'm just gonna take it right through the middle like this. I'm being reckless here, but I'm just building an entourage. I'm gonna grab that edge. I'm gonna go to extension, urban paint, build a new street profile. It's going to realize that this edge is crossing through an existing profile and it's gonna say, let's put an intersection in here. So I can tell it, what do I wanna put in? Let's put in pedestrian crossings, that's good. Uh, make this symmetrical again. And if, by the way, we didn't do this, but if you go through asymmetrical, it will prompt you for each one of these prompts for both sides. That's why I'm not doing it, trying to get through here fairly quickly. Uh, but if I wanted that, I could actually uh, get prompted on either side. In this case, let's just run through here. I'm gonna keep this street pretty simple. I do like striping, it looks nice. And then uh, we're not gonna, not gonna put any parking no bike lane. We'll probably include a curb. That makes a lot of sense. Um, no median. And uh, we'll do... Actually, I'm going to turn my walk off. I want to just show you the different... No, let's let's do it. Let's include the walk um, on there. Okay, that sounds good. Next. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Leave that. Nothing extra. Buildings. We'll include buildings. But I'm just going to say this is maybe this, this is where it turns to residential. So we'll just put ho homes on here turn all the rest of these buildings off. And I'm having to do a lot of clicking here. If I use the same profile multiple times, I can save this as I create one. And then that will actually simplify because I can just say, apply an existing profile to an edge. And that uh, makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that and look at, here's what we got. Got our intersection with lights in there, uh, sidewalks turn, got houses going down the other side. I didn't snug those up like I did with the other ones, but you can see that's in there. And again, what it's doing is it's randomly grabbing out of that folder, which you could curate, right? So if you didn't want this multifamily house in here, uh, you could actually curate those folders and say, don't include this one, take that one out of there, uh, which would give you just the houses that you actually want. And again, look at all these pieces are in separate groups. So if there was, like I said, I don't like this green for my bike lane, I could come click in here so I get down to that surface and then I can make a change. I don't like this little green guy, I got my own profile. I can grab that, I can delete that and uh, use just what I want. Super easy to edit because it's, I mean, it's SketchUp at that point. It's, there's nothing, nothing tricky or special about it. I don't have to go through and change properties. I can just edit it however I like. There's some other tools in here. If I do go into my urban paint folder, I can do things like entourage placement. So any of that stuff that I was clicking through that options to automatically add, I could come through here manual add. So I'm gonna grab a bench. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this bench and we'll place it. Let's just come in here and we'll just say there, there's a bench right there. Uh, and it's that simple. It really just pulls right out of uh, the components that are in urban paint and let you drop them in one at a time. So super cool, super simple, a great way to get uh, your streetscapes drawn. It takes a couple of minutes literally to click through here. And again, you have a lot of control over the assets that are actually used. So you can fairly quickly, when you think about things like saving your profiles, you can generate the streets you want in just a couple of clicks. Urban Paint is available now. You can go grab it off of the Extension Warehouse. Um, check it out. Let us know what you think. Uh, Daniel Tall's the, the creator of this. You guys probably know him. He has a lot of assets out there. So he's got books about SketchUp. He's got other extensions. Uh, he's spoken at every base camp, that, as far as I know, is like all of them maybe. I don't know, a lot of them. But uh, a great guy, great resource for anybody who's interested in SketchUp. Look at his stuff. Uh, yeah, check it out. And uh, let us know what you think. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. What do you think of this extension? Is there another extension you think we should show? Or do you have an idea that you think would make a good video that's something we haven't done before? Let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.